Okay. Having determined that we are going to conduct an investigation and that this is a, a crime or likely uh, to result in a criminal prosecution, um, there are some steps that are going to be common to any investigation process. Uh, and the first step, um, <laughs> as usual, is, is difficult and uh, difficult to ensure we do properly and difficult to define and, you know, and that is triage. Tri you know, figuring out how dangerous is this? What is the type of danger? Uh, is this dangerous enough that we kill our chances for investigation right now just by pulling the plug because otherwise we may lose our shirts. We may lose the entire company. We may lose the entire enterprise. Uh, you know, it, is it that big? Uh, and then from there on down, you know, okay, how big is it? How, how dangerous is this? What is the, the real risk that we are potentially facing with this? How much are we committing to responding to this incident? Um, you know, what, what level of, of danger is it? And therefore, what are we going to do in terms of addressing this and ensuring that we survive, that the business does, does survive. Um, you know, how, you know, is, is this just a small thing? Can this wait until after the weekend? Can, you know, and, you know, you, it's hard to predict these things in advance. Uh, but that's, you know, that's the first, first question. How bad is it? What is the type of badness that we're looking at? Uh, you know, this is triage in terms of uh, casualties in emergency ward, casualties on a field of battle, um, you know, of multiple things that are going wrong at any given time. And generally speaking, multiple things are going wrong at any given time. Which one do we address first? And, uh, you know, some of triage is making very serious decisions like, this person is not going to survive. We do not do anything for this person that will take away resources from someone whose life we can save. Uh, you know, that's... Sometimes the level of decision that you have to make, um, you know, in, in terms of an enterprise, it's, okay, this division of the company is not going to survive. Um, conditions, market conditions have changed. Um, you know, a, a new competitor has come in with a product that where we just cannot compete. Um, okay cut our losses, reallocate resources, uh, do what you need to do. Um, that's, you know, that's what's happening. I, well, you know, in, in terms of uh, information security and attacks and incidents and that sort of thing, um, no, breach sortion. Somebody has uh, come along and uh, stolen our, you know, client and customer and contractor, and, you know, everybody that we have ever dealt with, employees, you know, a, a, you know, our complete database has been stolen, and including all the email, and um, they are going to release this to the public, pointing out just, you know. Uh, how cynical we have been in regard to some particular project or product or whatever. And that's going to be bad for our reputation. 
Um, okay. Does that mean we cut our losses? That we say, okay, this, this project, this division of the company, uh, we admit it was a mistake. It wasn't, uh, you know, according to our overall view of ourselves, um, we will have to, uh, you know, we're, we're getting rid of it, jettisoning it, because it just, it doesn't fit with what we do and who we are. And uh, we commit to doing better in the future. Gone. That business is gone. Um, maybe that's, that's what we do. You know, that's part of triage. Anyway, you know, I'm spending too much time. I'm committing too much resources to the first step here. But, yeah, it is, um, you know, it is vitally important. So, notification and identification. Uh, what is happening? And based on what is happening, who do we tell? Uh, and that is, that is important. And then our... Our actions, our reactions to whatever is happening. Uh, you know, these are the major steps uh, in, uh, in, you know, basically the, the triage. Then we look at uh, containment, analysis, and tracking. And, you know, this is the technical areas, and I'm, I know that uh, those of you who are into this and into the system blocks, into operations and the metrics uh, and the data involved in that, you're going to, you know, be thinking of all the details there. Good if you know the details. What you need here is to know that this is, you know, the next step here. This is the technical stuff, but there is uh, a management structure around it and management priorities around this. You can't get your head down over this tracking and analysis part unless you also have a solid enough background in how do we manage this as a whole. And having having done that, we've got our follow-up. You know, what you know, when when we have done the analysis, when we have collected all the information. Okay, you know, now we need to discuss it. You know, what did happen? And what do we need to change to keep it from happening again? Uh, repair and recovery and, and prevention of these types of attacks succeeding to the same level or even worse in the future. Uh, you know, what, what do we do there? Um, and I, I leave you here with uh, a quote uh, from Field Marshal Helmut Karl Bernhard Graf von Moltke. And his original is, Therefore, no plan of operations extends with any certainty beyond the first contact with the main hostile force. Um, he was obviously a military guy, and of course his uh, quote is usually paraphrased as no plan ever survives first contact with the enemy. So we have to put these plans in place, you know, in terms of what we plan to do in, in regard to uh, the, uh, you know, our incident response and our investigation and our phases, but Remember, you have to adapt on the fly during an incident. So do the best planning you can, but don't be stuck in there if something goes sideways on you.